We have made several square pyramids and tetrahedrons using stiff plastic straws of the same size and a hot glue gun for the joints. For today's activity, we will use six pyramids and four tetrahedrons. To make a square pyramid, which will be double of its original size. This experiment will also help us see the relationship between the pyramid and the tetrahedron. Now here is a square pyramid. It has a square base and four triangular sides. This red one is a tetrahedron with a triangular base and three triangular sides. Both the pyramid and the tetrahedrons are made with equal length straws. We can see that the tetrahedron is slightly higher than the blue pyramid. Now first we will keep two square pyramids side by side and we will snug a red tetrahedron between them. Then we place a third square pyramid. Once again, we'll snug fit a red tetrahedron in the cavity between the second and the third square pyramid. Then we place a fourth square pyramid. Now the base will become a big square. The edge will be double that of the earlier square. And now we place two more tetrahedrons in the cavities. In all, we have used four pyramids and four tetrahedrons to make the structure. This is the view from the top. And you can see there is like a cavity inside. And a square pyramid just snugs into it. Finally, we will take the sixth or the last square pyramid and put this on top. By doing this, we will make a square pyramid whose edge length would be 2. If the initial square pyramid had the edge length of 1, all the edges of this big pyramid would be double its length and therefore its volume would be 2 cubed or 8 times the volume of the initial square pyramid. Now we can see different kinds of patterns over here. You can see a hexagonal, you can see all kinds of patterns, sometimes you would see cubes. And now we can try to dismantle this pyramid. It is made of six square pyramids and four tetrahedrons. Once we remove them, we can see oh, the relationship between the square pyramid and the tetrahedron. The square pyramid has twice the volume of the red tetrahedron. So you remove one, you remove two. So we saw that this has six pyramids are gone. So the two remaining square pyramids would be equal to the volume of four tetrahedrons, which means that the square pyramid is double in volume as compared to the tetrahedron.